Big Daddy here, and today we're going to talk about Telegram and voice calls. So this is a new set of videos that I'm working on that will take a news story and we'll gather one or two headlines from around the interwebs and um, we will talk about uh, hopefully stories that are relevant to the technology world, relevant to Linux and relevant to you. So we're going to stick to hopefully mostly Linux articles, hence the Linux inside. And we're going to get the lowdown for that particular news story. So today we're going to talk about Telegram and the announcement that they're going to do voice calls. So our first article is over at OMG Ubuntu. And it concerns the announcement that they have rolled out encrypted voice calls to European users of its mobile apps. So this is not available in the US yet, and it's not available for desktop users as of yet, but it will be. And according to the one of the Telegram spokesper- people, spokesperson, a spokesperson, uh, it will hopefully be available in April. Now, as the article says, we already have a few voice calling apps that are supported on Linux. So it's not like this is a a must-have area, but it's something that they've been working on for a while. So it's going to be end-to-end encryption for the phone calls as well as the chats. So I guess it's a little bit harder to do end-to-end encryption on phone calls. And they're going to have a system where they compare four emojis between your phone and the phone that you're calling to make sure that it's 100% secure or at least they say it's 100% secure. So that's their method of verification. Now, they also talk about call quality, but if you've ever read or heard anything about any communications company that has to do with voice calls, they are always going to say that they are number one in call quality because that's like one of the most important things when you're actually calling somebody is the quality of the call. So the jury will be out until we can actually test it out and see how good of a quality it is. They're also touting the fact that they're using artificial intelligence to monitor the technical aspects of the conversation, as they say. So it'll be network speed, ping times, packet loss, and they're going to monitor, the AI is going to monitor that and direct you to the closest or fastest peer-to-peer server. Um, now, it does say that it won't have access to the actual contents of the conversation. Moving on to the TechCrunch article on this. The founder is a Russian entrepreneur who pretty much um, founded the Russia's Facebook. Well, I guess the idea is to compete. All right? And again, it talks about call quality. And it talks about the AI monitoring the call and the encryption. But not everybody's a big fan of Telegram. And before I start that, I have talked to people already who have said, you know what, I'm not going to use Telegram if they get into voice calls because I don't want it to be that and I don't want it to be any less secure. Apparently, according to this uh, company, this mobile security firm, Zimperium, they quoted it's quoted in a 2015 article that telegram is error prone and has wonky homebrew encryption wow and a few other things and is also known as a terrorist hangout and they also link to media reports that isis is using telegram that's their you know service of choice so i don't know what that's all about but either way um Not everybody is a big fan of Telegram. That's why I bring it up. So if we 
take a ride over to the Telegram blog, we'll actually see their side of it. And again, voice calls, secure, crystal clear, and AI powered. So I guess what they're trying to say is you're definitely secure. Crystal clear would uh, say that, you know, it's going to be perfect. And AI powered is, I guess, for the speed of the call. Again, with the quality. So they talk about the uh, verification process. And here is an image of the actual emoji that you would see if you were calling and you would they this key these four emojis would have to match the emojis on the phone that you're calling and again it's through peer-to-peer -peer connections um, using the best audio codecs of course they're using the best they wouldn't use the worst I mean duh all right so uh, they give a little bit more information about uh, the AI part of it and so it's going to ha it will adapt and provide excellent sound quality on stable Wi-Fi or use less data when you walk into a refrigerator with bad reception. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> uh, the one one of the nice features of it is you will have complete control over calls. So you will be able to turn them off altogether. You'll be able to block anyone or everyone from calling you, which is something that it definitely needs. If if you're gonna it's one thing to hand out your telegram to somebody because, so they can contact you or message you. And it's a whole nother thing to hand it out so they can call you. So if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. I'm going to go down here to this uh, because, like I said, not everybody wants the phone call aspect of it. But if you're interested in the updates itself, uh, the 3.18 also brings the fact that you can control videos that you share. Uh, and you'll be able to um, preview how the video is going to look before you send it to somebody. So that's an added feature as well. So those are the stories, the headlines about Telegram concerning voice calls. Not out for the U.S. yet. So what do you think? Are you interested? Or are you not interested? Does it matter? Well, let me know in the comments below. And we'll have a discussion about it. Until the next Linux Inside, Big Daddy out.